With your weather bugs severe weather update, I'm meteorologist Gretchen Mischik. Some of the trouble spots today include the southeast and the northwest. Thunderstorms possible in areas along the Gulf Coast today, as well as persistent and heavy rain, which could lead to some impressive rainfall totals. Setting our forecast into motion, we'll be keeping an eye out for places like Louisiana down through Houston and a batch of wet weather as it pushes northward towards places like Virginia and then eventually toward the northeast as we head into to the end of the weekend. Across the northwest, that precipitation coming in the form of snow will lead to some tricky travel conditions throughout the next few days. In the mountains, we're looking at 12 plus inches and combine that with uh, quite a bit of wind and that's going to mean some trouble for places like Washington down through Oregon, the Cascades, and then eventually down through the Rockies by the time we get into the end of the weekend. Across the southeast, for those flooding concerns, we do have flash flood watches as well as flood watches in effect. We're talking rainfall total totals that could be between two to four inches in these green shaded areas. New Orleans included in that as well as Birmingham and just areas north of Montgomery uh, through the day today. We're talking a uh, marginal risk of severe weather for these darker green shaded areas and anywhere in these lighter green shaded areas thunderstorms are possible. Temperatures in the 70s today for places like New Orleans, but then dropping quickly throughout the next several days as cooler air will be advancing eastward across the nation. Across the northwest with this snow moving in, we have numerous winter storm warnings in effect. Those are for all of the pink shaded areas. The purple shaded areas indicate the winter weather advisories. And then for the end of the weekend, winter storm watches have already been issued and those are likely to be upgraded as we head into the day for portions of Utah and Colorado. More updates to come.